Boat 628, The Tony Neal Tale, Part 36 of 42, 1.51 p.m. Sam, walking among her NOC staff and checking on them as they checked on their paddlers, watched as raft after raft made it safely to shore. Tony and Rachel, transported as passengers via Leia's raft, reunited with Jean prior to hitting the minute stretch of sandy shore, and after Tony had ardently embraced Jean while simultaneously shaking his head at her, the three of them whispered to one another about their rescues, the concern they felt for each other, and the degrees of fear and helplessness experienced while being swept away while Leia guided her craft skillfully to the northern riverbank rendezvous. As Leia's raft scraped bottom, Jean, whose hand had been held tightly by Tony since they'd been reunited, released his hand, nodded towards the side of the raft, and said, Hang on, as the trio prepared to rise from the bottom of the raft. I want to thank Leia again, she added, as they climbed ashore and waited for Leia's boat to empty. Jean waited as Leia's boat emptied, then said to Leia, I want to thank you again, offering the generation younger woman her hand. Calm, commanding, and confidence inspiring are good things in a crisis. Thanks! Leia, her face breaking into a huge grin, nodded, shook Jean's hand, and said, Thank you, and you bet, and right back at you. Following instructions when you're in a pinch can be hard. I know, both from experience and, well, let's just say I've had some folks do better at it than others, and you did really good too. This your husband and daughter? I'd be the husband, Tony said with a grin to Leia. This would be the girlfriend. Right, girlfriend, he said to Rachel. Shaking her head and sighing, Rachel turned to Jean and asked, why do you even hang on to this guy before kissing Tony's cheek? Thanks for the ride, Leia. I gotta find the boyfriend. He's MIA. Before turning to Jean and Tony and raising an eyebrow in invitation. Thanks again, Jean said to Leia before shaking her head, laughing, and sweeping her hand towards the beach in affirmation of searching for her brother-in-law. That him? Tony asked, nodding towards another raft that had grounded slightly downstream. You're asking us, Rachel teased. He's your brother. You've known him the longest. Yeah, yeah, looks like he's hightailing to Patrick. Let's go make our party complete. As the trio advanced towards Patrick's boat, they watched as a raft guide put his arms around Johnny and held him. Arriving at the raft concurrent to Frankie and Laurie, Johnny nodded to Patrick, turned to Tony, Rachel, and Jean, and with ears, tears flowing, reached for them, then held them in a long, silent embrace while paddles that had been lost to the river were replaced, either with ones reclaimed from the river or by spares carried for just such an occasion. And every rafter who'd taken an unscheduled dip in the Thunderous River was reunited with shipmates.